everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and it was relaxing for you and your families I've just done a quick Aldi shop for this weird period between Christmas and New Year's we're still eating so many leftovers that I've still got in the fridge there but you're starting to feel like you really need some like fresh fruit and vegetables which I have still got heaps of fruit in the fridge and still some vegetables but I had to go out today and get some more things because tomorrow we're having a family um, little get together so I'll just show you what I've got here I'm gonna go through the meat first and then I'm gonna pop that back in the freezer okay I got this it's called a chocolate black forest tart I couldn't like leave it there I just it just looks so beautiful I've got some spray cream in the fridge and I've also got some like other cream that I can whip up so we're gonna have that for dessert tomorrow when we have some family over for a little get together I've also got a chocolate Bavarian because I love chocolate Bavarian so I got that as well that's probably gonna be some of our dessert tonight I've also got some cottage cheese now if you like cottage cheese this one's really nice from Aldi and it's a low fat one $3.99 and it's um, a quite a big tub it's 500 grams I just find that some of the cottage cheeses you get lately are really dry this is actually more of a watery one and I really like it it just tastes like it's got a little bit more flavor in it even though it's low fat I've just got some of this um, dairy blend butter just because we're starting to run low I do have the big block butter but sometimes it's easier just to spread on sandwiches I found it a really good price the feta it was only 269 a block for 200 grams I'm pretty sure that's a lot cheaper than where I've been buying it like at the other stalls okay um, I got this one from Aldi it was only 369 the ricotta and spinach I thought that was a really good price if I like that I'll probably get a few more of them I'm probably gonna start doing like an Aldi shop once a month at Aldi because there is a lot of things that I like at Aldi and like I try and keep a list of the things that I think um, our family you know keep on wanting more of like the maple syrup um, you know the cottage cheeses things like that it's a really good idea just to write a little list because there's not everything that I need from Aldi but there is a lot of little things that really taste good and are cheaper than every other shop so um, yeah hopefully this one will be on my list and or oh, we did take the kids with us so yes well I got we got some chocolate mousse here just to um, I'm not sure just because the kids want a chocolate mousse so we got that one I've also got some steak this is just the beef stock um, scotch fillet steak just felt like some red meat we've been having like ham and turkeys and prawns things like that and I'm just wanting to steer away from that now I really feel like some red meat um tonight we're going to be having hamburgers so I just got some beef mints I had some in the freezer but I was just being so lazy because it's I didn't defrost it and I thought I was going to Aldi I'll just get some but the story is about two days ago our big chest freezer blew up and it had all the prawns in it for like for after Christmas like in the new years and things like that it had everything in it we bought like bags of ice down at the service station of course it, it had to be full when it blew up bread like you wouldn't believe because I was just you know we always go through a lot of bread so that was in there and um, yeah so I am missing it we've only got the fridge which is quite large in the we've got the freezer in the fridge at the moment which is quite big but the thing is that I can't get like loaves of bread and freeze it so I'm already starting to miss it and it's only been like a couple of days you know like I can only buy a couple of loaves of bread at a time and I can't really buy a lot of like chicken nuggets and things like that which is probably a good thing too because I won't spend too much money but yeah I'm really starting to miss that so yeah that's what we're gonna have tonight just hamburgers it's already defrosted so it's a lot easier for me just to put them on soon after I do this um, food haul I'm gonna definitely put the hamburgers on and that will be dinner okay and I've also got some Hungarian salami um, this is only about two dollars just got some of that because my son loves that now I've got this crunchy salad mix because that's what we're gonna have tomorrow when we have family over it's really easy it's only around about $3.99 no sorry the crunchy salad kit for 450 grams is $2.99 a packet how good is that that's a really good price that's a really good price and it's got the noodles it's got the um, vegetables obviously and the, like the salad dressing for it really good price so we're gonna have that tomorrow 
Um, tonight we're just going to have with the hamburgers, the baby lettuce. I've also got a cucumber that we got. I can have some of that tonight and some of that um, for our thing tomorrow night. Okay, I've also grabbed two things of bread. So I've got the, rye, the light rye bread because that's really nice on to for toast in the mornings. And I've also got some of the Viva White. Now here's an example, I've already got too much bread because I won't be able to fit that in the freezer. What I would prefer to do is possibly make half, like if I made some sandwiches, I could probably, I could put that in the freezer a lot easier than putting a big loaf like this. So I'm either gonna, I'm either going to like freeze it separately, like in bags, or maybe we'll go through it, but I know I won't eat all that rye bread in the next couple of days. And in this hot weather, it goes really moldy really quickly. So um, yeah, I'll just see what happens there. I also got some of these, these brioche sliders. I haven't had these before. I've only ever had brioche rolls once before and I found them a little bit sweet. I didn't really love them, but I haven't had them since. So these are sort of the only rolls. You can get hamburger rolls at Aldi, but they don't have like other sort of rolls. But I got these ones. Well, they did have Turkish bread, but I wanted to have like some rolls to put with, um, you know, just on the table in case somebody wanted a bread roll with the meat we're having in the salad. So these are $5 for 12 of them. They're only mini ones, but they're perfect for like a little barbecue or something like that. So I've got those ones. And for tonight, I just got the brioche burger buns and that's what we're just gonna have with our meat and with our lettuce and with our cucumber. Um, and with that, I did get some sauerkraut. I just I saw it there and I grabbed it. And I might even put some of that on the burgers as well instead of beetroot. So I might use that. Okay, um, we've got some teriyaki marinade here because we just grabbed that, I guess. Because we just, I don't know. We've got, we've got soy sauce, but sometimes the teriyaki sauces are good to have as well. Okay, now I've got this Spider-Man um, little gardening set here. I've got a, um, my nephew is turning two. This is for three plus, but maybe um, his parents will put it away for him for next year. You know, it probably is a little bit too, too old for him because it has got spades and shovels and things like that in it. But we got him that, and it's always good to have something you can put away for the next year anyway. So I just got him that from Aldi, and um, yeah, I just thought it was really gorgeous. They had a nightlight there as well, like a Spider-Man one but I'm not sure if it was gonna be a little bit too scary for him, so I didn't get it because it projects onto the roof and he is only two. So I just saw that and I thought that was really cute because kids always love like sand and gardening and things like that and using shovels. So I got that one for him. Okay, um, I'm not sure why, but my kids have got obsession with cereal. I have got so much cereal in there and I know that I've said it in every haul that I only like to have a couple of boxes of cereal in the cupboard. No, we have got about four boxes of cereal already opened in the cupboard and we had to get this today because my son has been asking me for the duo one. He just doesn't want the chocolate one. He wants the white and chocolate one. And he's been asking me for a long time for it and it has been quite expensive, so I haven't got it. And this was about $6 for um, 660 grams. So it's not a bad price, but I just don't like having all this cereal opened. So um, yeah, we've got rice bubbles open. I've already got a little bit of my cereal already open. We've got wheat bix, we've got porridge, we've got all that sort of thing. So, yeah. so I'm hoping that they will eat this and all the other cereal that I've got in there. Otherwise I might have to make something out with the rice bubbles or something like that, some sort of a slice and start using the cereal up. Okay, I just grabbed some drawstring bags. These are a pretty good price. For 20 of the garbage bags, they're $2.69. $2.59, dollars $2 for the garbage bags. They're really good price. Last time I had to buy the more expensive ones at Woolworths because they didn't have them in stock. So, um, yeah, so I just, you know, I just wanted to stock up this time because I know that I get stuck and have to buy more expensive things if I can't get the cheaper option. I also got just some of these handy tidy of these tidy bags just for the smaller bins in our house. And I've also got some of these Goliath slider bags. I like these ones. I always buy them at Aldi, but they have changed the the packaging on it. I'm not sure if it's exactly the same or not, but they are really good um, bags. I like them, especially for like freezing meals, which I may not be doing for a while because I've only got like one freezer, which is such 
you know, un so unfortunate. Okay, I've also got the milk, which is I got I have one light milk, three liters, and two of the other ones. So we've got like nine liters of milk there because we are going through it really quickly. The kids are on holidays. Hopefully in the new year, I'll be able to cut down our milk. The, both, the, both the boys will be at school. Um, my husband picked this up. This is for me. He bought me like a pamper and purify kit. It's a face mask set. I've never seen them before. Um, so this is gonna be my treat apparently to um, help me relax. And I think that was, this was $10, $9.99. So that looks really good. It's got some moisturizing masks in there. It's got some hydrating facial masks, some brightening facial, facial masks, and it's got some detoxifying face masks. And it's got a little brush there. So that's a really nice little kit. I'll enjoy doing that, pampering myself. Okay, and I've also just got a bag of chips because the kids want these just for snack time. And I grabbed some of this three ply 24 rolls of toilet paper because lately we've been running out of stock in our area for toilet paper and there's usually only the dearer option i usually just buy like we usually just used to get the woolworths one i think it's nine or twelve sorry twelve rolls for about three dollars fifty haven't been able to get it in stock so i've had to buy like sorbent and kleenex and I find they go really quick in a house. So I've just got this one, I think this is $8.99 from Aldi for 24 rolls. So today I spent $139.65. I will be doing another shop on Friday or Saturday this week just to get our usual things because some of this is just going to be for entertaining purposes and it will go through it pretty quickly, which is the steaks will be good, but this will be for tonight. That'll be for tomorrow night, you know, and it will go pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with the price. When you go to a shop and you come out spending under $200, you feel really good. And I find that when you go to Aldi, that that happens often when you walk out of Aldi that you've spent like way under $200 and you feel like you've got a fair bit of, you know, you've got a fair bit of food. So I'm pretty happy with that and I love Aldi. I would like to go there all the time, but there is things that they don't often have that I usually buy from either Woolworths or Coles. But so this is just, yeah, this is just going to be a quick haul today. I'll probably see you on Friday or Saturday with another, another food haul, either from Woolworths or Coles. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video today and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Bye.